Astronomers in Durham have made the biggest ever computer model of the evolution of the universe from the Big Bang to the present day using one of the most powerful supercomputers in the world. The model was based on the accepted theories of physics, but when it was compared to how the universe actually looks... Forget the pixelated matrix and rogue AI overlords. The real mind bender? We might be asking the wrong question entirely. Instead of obsessing over whether reality is a simulation, what if the truly profound mystery lies in how our own minds construct reality, glitches, and all regardless of its ultimate nature? Dive deeper than binary code and explore the fascinating rabbit hole of perception, consciousness, and the nature of existence itself. Buckle up. The simulation hypothesis might just be a distraction from the most mind-blowing simulation of all, the one we call reality. Stop the simulation hype. Examining the universe as a computer program? The idea that our reality is merely a sophisticated computer simulation has captured the imagination of philosophers, scientists, and science fiction enthusiasts for decades. It's an alluring thought experiment, but is it a productive use of our intellectual energy? This note explores the arguments for and against the simulation hypothesis, highlighting its limitations and suggesting more fruitful avenues for scientific inquiry. Simulation theory? Are we living in a matrix? Simulation theory is the thought-provoking hypothesis that our reality, everything we experience and perceive, is actually a complex computer simulation created by an advanced civilization far beyond our current understanding. In other words, we might be living in a highly sophisticated video game designed by beings with godlike technological capabilities. Computer simulation, in its simplest form, is the use of a computer program to model and imitate the behavior of a real-world system, process, or phenomenon. It involves creating a mathematical representation of the system and then using computational power to run that model, observing its behavior under different conditions, and analyzing the results. Key aspects, one, modeling, types of models, equation-based. These rely on mathematical equations to capture the relationships between variables within the system. For example, simulating fluid flow might use equations for pressure, velocity, and density, agent-based. These model individual entities, agents, and their interactions, like simulating pedestrians in a city or cells in a biological system, hybrid models, combining both equation-based and agent-based approaches for complex systems with diverse elements. Model complexity, high fidelity, aims for very detailed and accurate representation, often requiring significant computational resources. Used for crucial applications like aircraft design, low fidelity, focuses on capturing key system behaviors while simplifying details. Useful for exploring initial ideas or large-scale scenarios. Model validation. The accuracy of the model is crucial for reliable simulation results. Validation involves comparing simulation outputs to real-world data or established models. Two, software and execution. Simulation frameworks, specialized software platforms provide tools and libraries for building and running simulations. Examples include ANSYS for engineering simulations, NetLogo for agent-based modeling, Gromax for molecular simulations, algorithm selection, choosing the appropriate algorithms and numerical methods to efficiently solve the equations and update the model state within the software. Parameterization, setting values for variables within the model based on real-world data or assumptions. Optimization techniques can calibrate these parameters for improved accuracy. Three, analysis and interpretation, data collection. The simulation generates data about the system's behavior over time, including relevant variables and statistics. Visualization. Techniques like graphs, charts, and animations help visualize complex data and identify patterns or trends. Statistical analysis. Analyzing the data statistically to quantify uncertainties, draw conclusions, and test hypotheses. Sensitivity analysis. Understanding how model outputs change with variations in input parameters revealing key factors influencing the system's behavior. Four, challenges and considerations, computational cost. Complex simulations can require significant computing power, especially for large models or long-running scenarios. Model bias. Biases in the model design or parameterization can lead to misleading results. Careful validation and sensitivity analysis are crucial. Overfitting. Tailoring the model too closely to specific data can reduce its generalizability to broader contexts. Ethical considerations. 
Simulations can have ethical implications, especially when used for decision-making or involving sensitive data. The universe is a computer simulation. The idea that our universe is actually a computer simulation, meticulously crafted by an advanced civilization, has captured imaginations for centuries. While it remains a thought experiment without scientific evidence, the simulation hypothesis, as it's known, ignites fascinating discussions about the nature of reality, consciousness, and our place in the cosmos. Exploring the arguments for and against the simulation hypothesis. Let's delve deeper into the arguments presented both for and against the idea that our universe is a computer simulation. Arguments for technological feasibility. This argument rests on the idea that as technology advances at an exponential rate, the ability to create incredibly detailed and immersive simulations will become a reality for future civilizations perhaps surpassing even our current understanding of physics. Opponents point to the rapid development of virtual reality and video games as evidence of this potential. Resource optimization. If advanced civilizations possess immense computational power, simulating numerous realities could be a more efficient way to explore possibilities, test theories, or understand their own existence. This argument suggests that running multiple simulations within a larger simulated universe could be more practical than directly exploring countless physical realities. Quantum Mechanics Oddities The strange behavior of quantum particles like superposition and entanglement could potentially be explained by underlying computational rules within a simulated universe. Some physicists have explored the possibility that the quantum weirdness we observe is a consequence of the discrete nature of information processing in a simulated reality. The many worlds interpretation, if multiple universes exist due to quantum decoherence, as suggested by some interpretations of quantum mechanics, then the probability of our universe being a simulation within one of those countless universes becomes statistically more likely compared to it being the original reality. Arguments against lack of evidence. This is the biggest hurdle for the simulation hypothesis. Currently, there's no concrete scientific evidence to suggest that we're living in a simulation. While the lack of evidence doesn't automatically disprove the hypothesis, it does make it difficult to treat it as a serious scientific explanation for reality. The simulation argument. This argument presents a logical challenge. If advanced civilizations create simulations, wouldn't their simulated beings also question their reality? leading to an infinite loop of simulations within simulations. This can seem paradoxical and raises questions about the possibility of ever reaching a base reality outside of simulations. Definition of simulation. What truly constitutes a simulation? Are intricate video game simulations? Or is there a fundamental difference between them and our reality? This argument highlights the subjective nature of the term and the difficulty of establishing clear criteria to distinguish a simulated reality from a real one. Consciousness and subjectivity. Can subjective experiences and qualia, the essence of our consciousness, be truly replicated in a simulation? This argument suggests that even if we could create incredibly detailed simulations, replicating genuine consciousness might be impossible, raising questions about the true nature of simulated beings beyond the arguments. While the arguments presented offer diverse perspectives, it's important to remember that the simulation hypothesis remains a thought experiment. Its value lies not in providing definitive answers, but in prompting critical thinking about the nature of reality, consciousness, and the limits of our current understanding. Exploring these questions can expand our worldview, encouraging deeper reflection on our place in the universe. Philosophical and scientific implications. The possibility of living in a simulation throws open a Pandora's box of philosophical and scientific questions, challenging our fundamental assumptions about reality consciousness, and our place in the universe. Here are some key implications to consider. Nature of reality, illusion versus truth. If we're simulated, the distinction between what we perceive as real and the underlying computational reality becomes blurred. Are our experiences mere illusions within a program, or is there an underlying true reality we cannot access? Free will versus determinism. If every aspect of our reality, including our thoughts and actions, is determined by the simulation's code, does free will truly exist, or are we simply characters playing out predetermined roles? Laws of physics. Are the laws of physics we observe fundamental or simply constructs within the simulation program? Could there be different or even non-existent laws outside the simulation? Consciousness and subjectivity. Replicating consciousness. Can subjective experiences and qualia, the essence of our consciousness, 
be truly replicated in a simulation? Or are there fundamental limitations to simulating genuine consciousness, meaning and purpose? If our existence is merely a program, does life have any inherent meaning or purpose beyond what we create within the simulation? Moral framework. If simulated beings are conscious and capable of suffering, what ethical considerations arise regarding their treatment and manipulation within the simulation? Scientific and technological implications. Limits of knowledge. How can we even begin to understand the fundamental nature of reality if we might be living in a simulation? Are some scientific questions inherently beyond our scope of inquiry? Search for simulators? Could we ever detect evidence of the civilization that created our simulation, or are they beyond our current technological capabilities? Impact on technology. Does the possibility of creating our own sophisticated simulations raise ethical concerns or open new avenues for scientific exploration and understanding? The allure of the simulated universe, the captivating allure, philosophical inquiry. The simulation hypothesis challenges us to contemplate the nature of reality, consciousness, and existence itself. It pushes the boundaries of our current understanding and ignites curiosity about the what-ifs. Technological inspiration. As computing power grows, the idea of creating intricate simulations becomes more plausible, blurring the lines between reality and artificial worlds. This fuels advancements in AI, virtual reality, and our overall understanding of information processing. Existential exploration. Pondering the possibility of being simulated can prompt introspection about our purpose, place in the universe, and the meaning of life. It can spark conversations about free will, determinism, and the nature of our reality beyond the allure. Embracing a more nuanced approach, untestable hypothesis. The lack of a scientific method to definitively prove or disprove the simulation hypothesis renders it untestable and potentially unproductive for scientific progress. Focusing on testable questions can yield more concrete results, logical pitfalls. Circular reasoning and self-referential arguments often underpin the simulation hypothesis, ultimately offering little explanatory power. It's crucial to employ rigorous logic and avoid falling as circular traps, unnecessary complexity. Introducing an even more complex simulated reality to explain our universe might not be the most parsimonious solution. Occam's razor suggests seeking the simplest explanation that fits the observed data, shifting the focus. More rewarding paths of inquiry, understanding our universe, delving deeper into the fundamental laws of physics, exploring potential inconsistencies, and seeking explanations for unexplained phenomena hold immense potential for scientific discovery, exploring consciousness. Investigating the nature of consciousness, its relationship to the brain, and its connection to the physical world can lead to breakthroughs in neuroscience and AI, furthering our understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe, pushing technological boundaries. Continuing to develop our computational capabilities allows us to create advanced simulations that can help us understand complex systems, test scientific theories, and potentially shed light on the nature of reality itself. Challenges Dismissal of curiosity while some questions may not have definitive answers, dismissing them entirely can stifle curiosity and limit exploration of potentially valuable avenues. The simulation hypothesis, despite its challenges, can spark intriguing philosophical discussions and inspire creative thought experiments. Oversimplification of the issue. The statement risks presenting the simulation hypothesis as a single, monolithic idea without acknowledging its various interpretations and nuances. Different proponents approach the hypothesis with different frameworks and goals, potential for dogmatism. Shutting down certain lines of inquiry, even if deemed unproductive, can be seen as imposing a specific scientific agenda or prioritizing specific types of research. This can hinder open-mindedness and the free exchange of ideas. Limitations? A specificity issues. The statement lacks context and doesn't specify who is being addressed or what specific arguments are being targeted. This makes it difficult to assess its validity and engage in a meaningful discussion, potential for misinterpretation. Depending on the audience, the statement could be misinterpreted as advocating for censorship or discouragement of all theoretical or speculative thinking, which could have negative consequences. Overlooking potential benefits. While the simulation hypothesis may not be readily testable, it can still contribute to theoretical research inspire new scientific approaches, and stimulate creativity in various fields. Alternative approaches. Instead of shutting down the question entirely, here are some alternative approaches. Encourage critical thinking. 
rather than simply telling people to stop asking the question, promote critical analysis and encourage individuals to examine the evidence, strengths, and weaknesses of the simulation hypothesis themselves. Focus on research priorities. While some questions may not be currently testable, guide the discussion towards more achievable research priorities within related fields like physics, cosmology, and consciousness studies. Embrace diverse perspectives. Acknowledge the value of different interpretations and approaches to the simulation hypothesis, even if they differ from established viewpoints. This fosters diversity of thought and avoids limiting scientific progress. Shifting the focus. Understanding the laws of physics. Delving deeper into the fundamental laws governing our universe, seeking out potential inconsistencies or unexplained phenomena. Exploring consciousness. Investigating the nature of consciousness and its relationship to the physical world potentially leading to breakthroughs in neuroscience and artificial intelligence, pushing the boundaries of technology, continuing to develop our computational capabilities, potentially creating advanced simulations that shed light on the nature of reality. The simulation hypothesis is a captivating thought experiment, but it's essential to recognize its limitations and avoid getting bogged down in unfalsifiable questions. There are far more productive avenues for scientific inquiry and philosophical exploration that can lead to concrete understanding and kemaiwan. Remember, the question of simulation might be irrelevant if we focus on unraveling the true nature of our reality. One fascinating discovery at a time.